Yo, hope all is well out there. Let's get right to it though. I'm trying to understand why is it that so many individuals want to act so surprised? So surprised when it comes to Terrence Crawford going back on his word and not taking a fight at 154 with Errol Spence, allegedly. Not taking a fight at 154. Somebody in this camp, as we all know, came out and said it's 147 or nothing. Why are y'all surprised? Like, when we all learn <laughs> about homie old flaw ass moves that he pulled? He one of them type of dudes. Like, what don't y'all get? He shows you time and time again. When somebody show you who they are, believe them. Y'all ain't never heard that motherfucking shit before? Stop acting shocked and surprised. Like, he bogus. I can't believe he on that. Knowing Spence can't make 147 or Spence ain't his best at 147. Like, he agreed to 154. Yeah. All that good shit. But what y'all think flaw, fraudulent ass, snake ass niggas do? This type of shit. This is their... M.O., their energy. Stop acting fucking shocked and shit, yo, because I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked at all. Because dude been pulling bullshit, like, for how long now? Come on, man, stop playing. Y'all keep letting him play in y'all face like y'all know what type of time he be on. He just got to keep doing some old fraud-ass, fool-ass shit for y'all to understand. You never know a homie. And now, yeah, he bogus, but... Let me say this. If it's me, I'm not trying to get nobody no advantages over me. I mean, I ain't playing on no bogus field. I'm playing on the field we started to play on. But where he fucked up at, as far as I'm concerned, is that homie agreed to that shit already. He already told Spence, like, him and his team, Wolf and Big Mouth, and talking about 154. They can do that 154. It's going to be the same results or worse. So if that's the case, then run it at 154. If that's the case, you know what I mean? I mean, the only reason he would be bogus for keeping it at 147 is because he said he'd do it at 154. Because he don't owe Spence no favors. Well, I don't even want to say he don't owe Spence no favors because Spence gave him everything he wanted in the first place for the motherfucking fight to happen. Coin toss and shit. The fuck? And why the drug test ain't never came out? That probably was in the contract. Or it wasn't no drug test. Ain't nobody finna act like they don't notice what the fuck going on. Well, I ain't. I ain't finna act like it. It's a lot of weird shit, but in that aspect, he kind of do old Spence. Like, at least to fight him at the next weight class, you willing to fight Charlo there. You willing to go up to 68 three-way classes to see Canelo. But then, according to his team, seeing Spence at 154 is just a waste of time. Motherfucker, you got your biggest payday fighting Spence at 147. So don't say it's a waste of time. Knock it the fuck off. Your biggest payday. And then this would be your next biggest payday if you was to fight him at 154. Now... If Spence decided to take it at 147, that's on Spence. I, w I wouldn't recommend that, but you a man. Do whatever the fuck you want to do, nigga. But I wouldn't recommend no goofy-ass shit like that. Especially if your weight was a big issue in the last fight, because it was hell of issues, whatever the fuck they may have been. But if your weight was one of the issues, why would you fucking turn around and fight there again? That's dumb as fuck. Unless... You doing it for the bag, Spence. You doing it for the bag. And I ain't gonna fault you. I ain't gonna fault you if you doing it for the bag. But don't be misleading and sending your fans off, motherfucker. Because you be doing that shit too, sending your fucking fans off. Like the first fight, if you knew you was fucked up, why the fuck would you run around this bitch big mouthing and then you hop your ass up in that motherfucking ring looking like a goddamn fool and got dog walk? Damn. Sent your fans off. Sent us off. We buying merch. We paying for pay-per-views. 
We making bets online. We talking our shit, holding it down, man down. Just for you to know damn well you ain't going in there 100%. Knowing damn well you going in there fucked up. And another thing. At one of the press conferences before the fight, Spence said what Brian Custer said to him like he was doing it for Legacy and for the belts. And Spence like interrupted him or something if I remember correctly. And he said something like, no, nah, I'm doing this for the money. I ain't never said I was doing it for the belts. I'm doing it for the money. Nigga, what? Uh -huh. He said something like that. But nigga, what the fuck? Since when? That's some fishy ass shit. Because we all know. Spence was doing it for the belts. Strap season, not bag season. <laughs> it was strap season. I'm not gonna defend that fucking bullshit. Like it, it's been about the money with Spence. No, it wasn't about the fucking money. Of course, the money plays a part as well. Yeah, but he was doing it for legacy. Cause if it was about the money, he would have been pursuing Canelo. He's going to get a bigger bag fighting Canelo. But no, what did he do? He fought all champions. Took belts from champions. And he wanted that last belt for undisputed. Not for no big ass bag. Crawford don't sell shit, so what the fuck? That was some weird ass shit. I ain't like that energy. And I was thinking about that. Then you got people out here trying to defend it. Like, okay, so if it was uh, about the belts, then why are you trying to fight him at 54? The belts don't matter. There ain't no belts at 54. Because he want his get back from getting his ass beat. <laughs> if anything... That's why the belts don't matter. It's like, fuck the belts, nigga. I need, nigga, you beat my ass. I, you got to see me again, bro. Run that thing back. And get another big ass bag. Fuck out of here, though. Like, it's always been about money with Spence. No, it's been about money with Tank. It's been about money with Tank. It's been about money with Floyd. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all, come on. Just go for anything or say anything. Not me. Not me, not I. I ain't going like that because I know it's some fool ass fishy weird shit going on in boxing. Like, so I don't know what's to Spence. Spence still ain't came out and said shit. And Crawford didn't officially say he won't fight him at 154 either. Somebody on his team said that. But whatever, we'll see what happens. If you don't fight him at 54, that's all on you, Spence. Because since it's about the bag, because if he fight him at 147, it's definitely about the bag. That was weird as hell. I ain't never heard Spence say that. Oh, it's about the money. I ain't never said. Yes, you did. Strap season. You wanted all of the belts. You fought champions behind champions. The fuck? We were saluting you on that shit. Now, motherfucking want to act like it's always been about the money? No, it wasn't. That shit killed me. I don't know why I ain't been spoke on that shit when he said that shit in that press conference. Brian Custer looked like what the fuck? He ain't say nothing, but he was looking like, nah. It was about uh legacy, the belts, but okay, whatever you say. Cause when I seen it, I was thinking like, what the fuck? Huh? But whatever. It's been a lot of weird, suspicious shit going on in boxing as usual. So I'm not in love with boxing no more how I used to be, but I am gonna speak on it. I just know not to expect certain shit. I I know now to expect some bullshit. How about that? Expect bullshit. But we'll see what happened with this nigga Crawford, man. We'll see what happened. They got until December to make the fight. That's in the contract, so we'll see. But it's up to him what weight class. It was up to Spence because he lost to the call for the rematch. And it's up to uh, Crawford what weight class he want to fight at. That's another thing, see? Spence letting all this bullshit go in the contract. You can fuck yourself over. And you see, that's why Al Heyman ain't want to do no business with Crawford punk ass because he a fucking fool fraud snake ass nigga like Al Hame was trying to warn Spence trying to warn him Spence ain't care he wanted that bag huh <laughs> cause he knew he won 100% and, uh, and Bob Aram that's why Bob Aram said Crawford is a bad businessman he, he, he's not good to do business with his own promoter was saying y'all forgot about all that well, whatever the fuck we'll see what happens that's just my take like Crawford ain't got to fight him at 154. It's just the point that he said he would. That's what makes it fucked up. But technically, he don't have to. Because in the contract, well, that Spence let it ride, it's 147 or 154. He get to pick. The winner get to pick the weight. So that's on Spence, man.
But we'll see what happens. Spencer be a motherfucking fool to fight him at 147. Unless it's all about the money. Because I mean the second fight, y'all gonna do some y'all gonna do the same numbers as the first fight. But y'all gonna do some type of numbers. But if it's about the money, nah, see at this point, Thurman, Thurman might not sell as much as a fight with Crawford at this point since he done lost to Crawford. And motherfuckers thinking it's some get back shit. But whatever. We'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. But whatever. Boxing so full of shit. We'll see what happens.